Good evening, I'm Sue Helmy with McGeeNews.com and I'm here at Overflow Church today. And Overflow is located, I always say, under the water tower. I can't help it, this is the way I grew up, under the water tank. And Patrick Sanders is with me. Patrick is the music and worship leader here at the church. And there's just, it, to me, Patrick continuously amazes me with his talents. And I know he's gonna get mad at me for talking about all that, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. There are so many things he can do and I wanted you to tell us a little bit more about how you're involving, maybe it's the youth or the other people with you in your music ministry. Okay. Um, well, we have we're been blessed uh, with several people um, who can play instruments and who can sing. I, I like to tell people that, that God has blessed us so much with, with singers because out of all the people who sing, I'm probably the worst. <laughs> well. Um, but um, we, we've... See, so we've got uh, a lead uh, electric guitar player, um, actually a couple, and um, a couple of bass players. My wife plays the bass guitar. Really? She does. <laughs> and um, Brother Paul plays the drums some. And we've got another drummer. And um, let's see, we've got uh, a keyboard player. Um, so there's several people on, on the stage, and that's only half the, half the picture. You've got probably as many people back in the sound and, and doing the lighting and um, all that stuff to make sure that, that the environment is, is um, welcoming you know, for, for visitors so that the worship experience is, um, is, uh, has the, the least amount of distraction so that people can concentrate and focus on you know, singing to God. So. Do you do like partial music and then do you overlap with your sermon? How do you do that? Just kind of traditional on that? Or, well, I wouldn't think much of anything you did is traditional necessarily. But. As, as far as you don't mind? Kind of the order of service, I guess, is okay. what I'm saying. Okay. Well, usually um, around 9.45 Sunday mornings, we, we start uh, music in the sanctuary um, just coming through the, the, the system because a lot of people get here early. and we, we Because of the, the space uh, limitations that we had until this coming Sunday, you know, we tell people to get here early so you can get a seat. And um, so people start getting here about 9.45. So the, the music is going. Um, oh, that's great. And you come through the door and people are, are welcome. We've got volunteers there in the, in the lobby, you know, welcoming people in and ushers, uh, helping them find a seat if they need to. And then um, about 10.30, that's when we get started. And um, usually do, do three or four worship songs. Mm -hmm. And um, then, um, we, we send our kids back to, we like to call it the children's wing, mm -hmm. and um, the, our, our teachers will stand up at the back and we say, all right, the kids, um, they get colored wristbands based on how old they are when they come in, and uh, the teachers will be holding up the, the same color sheet of paper at the back. Oh, that's so neat. They, that's they, a neat no, they can look at the wristband and they can see what, you know, what teacher they need to go with. And uh, so then they go back and then um, the band kind of continues to play a little bit as Brother Paul starts this message, and um, uh, and then um, we'll go down after a little while mm -hmm. after he uh, is preaching, and then towards the end, um, you know, we'll come back and, and usually do a song after the sermon too, um, so that, that we're we're praising as we leave. Uh, well, you know, in our situation, of course, we're always promoting the internet. Mm -hmm. Is there any way? To, do you have any kind of website or anything? Is there a way that people can get more information about your church? Yes, absolutely. People can go to uh, overflowchurch.com uh, is the website. And uh, down at the bottom, right-hand corner, is a, uh, a dates calendar link. And uh, you can go there and see you know, events that are coming up. And uh, at the bottom center, is a, a link that will take people to, if they want to go and look at uh, past sermons and mm -hmm. uh, look at the sermon archive. And, and, uh, so is um, Brother Paul's sermon on the website? Yes. Uh -huh. It is. Is your music on the website? Not yet. Uh-oh. <laughs> but, uh, but we're working on uh, incorporating some of the, the worship and music in with uh, the videos, the sermon videos. So if anyone is shut in, or can't come that Sunday or something, they can, is it done live or is it all, it's archived, so to speak? Right, right. It, it's not live, um, but it's it's usually archived about a, a week. Um, 
between sermon. Right. right. Um, and if, if people need a DVD, we have a sign up here at the church where people can request a DVD if, oh, okay. uh, you know, if, they, if they have trouble with the internet and that type of thing. So. That's great. To, That's fine. So people can watch us too. Well, I know they hope they'll see you at church soon, and especially this next to see their great building. It's fantastic. It's going to seat 500 people. Hope you have a good week, and I hope you'll enjoy and come to Overflow Church.